Follow me down. There's no one who Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a tutorial on this ridiculously intense and dramatic look that I'm wearing right here. I am using the new Jeffree Star Alien palette which I just got in the mail yesterday, I think. You get 18 shades and they're a mixture of shimmers and mattes. You have a lot of colors going on in here. I was so excited when I saw this. I, I knew that I had to pick it up because it is just so different from what I feel like we see so often on the market. As soon as I saw this palette, the two shades that I felt like stood out to me the most were Area 51 and Flying Saucer, of course, because they're both like very like rich matte shades. So I went back and forth for the longest time thinking which one I was gonna use. But listen, I'm a Libra. You can't give me decisions to make, okay? So I decided to do both colors and I am so in love with the way that this look came out. I would say this is one of my most dramatic, if not my most dramatic look that I've done on my channel, but I just love it. Like drama is just, that's what I'm about. I love drama and I hope that you guys like it too. I mean, I hope so if you're watching this video. So if you guys wanna see how I got this intense, deep, dramatic, I don't know what I'm gonna call this, this kind of a look, then please just keep on watching. The first color I'm gonna go into is the color Gravity, which is just like a nice transition color. And I'm using a ColourPop E2 brush. It's just like a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just gonna apply this into my crease. Now I'm gonna go into the color Phone Home, which is more of like a deeper mauve shade. So this is Gravity, and then this is Phone Home. And I'm just gonna use the same brush and basically do the exact same thing. I am kind of wanting this to show a little bit more than Gravity. I just wanna Gravity down so that things can blend a little bit easier but I really want more of a mauve undertone. So I'm just gonna go for it here. I'm going into the color Area 51, which is this deep purple shade. It's kind of, it's, it's pretty intense. I'm just going in with an angled brush and I'm just gonna start cutting out my crease. No wing at the end. I mean, that could work. So now I'm grabbing a Morphe M433 and I'm just gonna take the same Area 51 color, that purple shade that we were just using five seconds ago, and I'm just gonna start to blend this line a little bit upward. If you get some underneath the line, it's no big deal. You just really wanna try to make it a gradient above the actual line. Grabbing my ColourPop E2 brush again. No additional product. Actually, I will grab a little bit of Phone Home, just a small amount. And I'm just gonna blend that even further. I am gonna deepen this up even further. I'm gonna go into the color Black Hole, which is just a matte black, which you guys know. Matte black, that's that's my kind of stuff. So I'm taking the same angled brush and I'm just gonna kind of deepen that up a bit. I don't want the whole entire look to just look like there's black. I just want it to look kind of like there's a deep, deep purple there. So that's what I am doing. I'm just gonna lay that down and then kind of flick it upwards. Now going back in with the M433 and a little bit more of Area 51, very small amount more. I'm just gonna kind of blend this black line out a little bit further. My hand is getting so tired from holding this palette up. For using the mirror. Like. As usual, taking my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I'm using an Urban Decay shadow brush it's just a flat brush and i'm gonna use that to kind of clean up underneath that line
So next I'm gonna go into the color Flying Saucer, which is this matte, like teal kind of green. And I'm gonna place this with a MAC 242 on like this part, kind of just like right here. And on the inner corner, the same way. You're gonna see, you know, it's very, it's very confusing, but you're gonna see what I'm doing. This color is pretty pigmented. Now I'm grabbing the Real Techniques Instapop Crease Brush, which is just this little funny looking brush here, but I love using this for like outer corner work. So I'm gonna take the black hole shade again, which is that black, that matte black that we used in the crease, and I'm gonna apply this on the outermost corner and the innermost corner, and I'm so nervous about this. Like you guys can't understand how nervous I am about this. That's a pretty intense black. I wouldn't say it's like the most intense black, but it's pretty intense. I'm gonna take the color Abduction, which is this like chartreuse green shade, and I'm gonna take the same brush that we used earlier because I don't like washing brushes. And I'm just gonna apply this right here where we have no shade. That shade is definitely not that pigmented. For sure, not that pigmented. But I feel like I have not found a chartreuse green that is very pigmented, like right off the bat. So I'm gonna leave the eyes like this for now. I'm gonna move on to concealer. I am using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Golden 40. So I am just kinda drowning concealer as I do daily. I'm gonna grab my Hourglass Veil Loose Setting Powder. Is that even focusing? There we go. No? Can we please? Can we? Alright, mostly because I'm not going anywhere today. So I don't really need this to last. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly wipe that away. I don't really put that much powder on, but there's still a little bit of excess, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. So I decided I'm gonna do a wing liner. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner, just to switch it up because you guys know I always use my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. So I'm just gonna start by drawing a line. This is actually pretty black. This is not my first time trying it. So I feel like my liner got a little out of control, but that's all right. I'm gonna take my Graph Black Technical Liner by MAC, and I'm just gonna be very generous with this in my waterline, because I want I want the drama that's up here, but I want it down here. So I am just going in. So I'm going back into the palette and I'm going to take the shade Flying Saucer again, which is this intense green. And I'm going to use a Morphe Y21 brush and I'm just going to run this right underneath that black liner. 
I'm taking a Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Abduction, which is that chartreuse shade that we used on the center of the lid. And I'm gonna try to blend that out a little bit. I really want this to be green. I want it to be like, you can you can notice that it's green. For this look, I really want like a very intense eyelash. So I'm going in with the Cake Face Beauty Kim Tai Lashes and they're called Lionhearted. This is what they look like. They are so aggressive. And I, I just feel like with all the drama that we have, that's what I need. So while that gets tacky, I also picked up a new Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I'm gonna use that on my upper and lower lashes just to prep them. So I'm just gonna apply the lash. I'm grabbing my tiny little VH Cosmetics brush and I'm gonna mix these two shades for my inner corner highlight. I'm gonna grab Pluto and then the color Alien. To contour, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Shapeshifter Palette as always. Not as always, but like, as a lot of the time. <laughs> I'm taking my Morphe R2, R10, dang it, my R10, which is my favorite contouring brush. You guys already know this though. I've said it like infinity times at this point, honestly. <laughs> Taking my BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray number eight brush and the same shade that we used to contour. I am gonna grab that and I'm just gonna contour my nose. For bronzer, I'm grabbing Anastasia Beverly Hills Cappuccino, which I feel like I haven't used in a while. And I am gonna bronze like you've never seen me bronze before. I feel like I just really need some bronzer today. It would make me feel a lot better about life. For blush, I'm taking Seduced at Sea Extra Dimension Blush by MAC. This is what it looks like right here. I'm not sure if this one is back. I know that they brought back a lot of the limited edition shades. I don't know if this is one of them. I'm just gonna apply it. I like the way that they apply because they don't apply super pigmented like right away and this shade i feel like it's perfect because it's kind of like a pink mauve color but it's not too aggressive <laughs> so for highlight i'm gonna mix two the first one i'm gonna use is the wet and wild highlighting bar in midnight moon which is kind of like a gold green shade i think this came out with like a limited edition mermaid collection or something but i love this color so much so i'm just gonna apply it on the cheekbones the green is just like it's there but it's not too intense like some of the other highlighters that I have you know The next highlighter we're taking is the color Money Honey by Jeffree Star. This is the Supreme Frost formula, and that's like so green. It's very glittery, look at that. You can, I like barely applied it, and it's already like so green. <laughs> but that's okay with me, as long as I mix it. So for my lip pencil, I'm going in with the ColourPop Ellery Lip Pencil. What? So for my lipstick, I'm taking the color Triggered by Jeffree Star. This came out with their Alien holiday collection. But look at this packaging. Oh my god. There I go, I did it. 
So this is the finished look. Obviously, it's extremely dramatic. I think this would look really good with a nude lip also. I think that's like what like most people would do with this, but I just decided to take it there. Obviously, you don't have to. As a quick review of this palette, I have to say every single shade that I used was pretty good. I wouldn't say this is like the greatest eyeshadow formula that I've ever used. I will say that Area 51, the matte purple, it was kind of harder to work with and the color Abduction was definitely not that pigmented. But everything else worked really, really nicely. I do really want to do a look with this color Probe. It just looks so cool. I do really like it. I think that this packaging is um, a little absurd. In my opinion, it's just it's just really big and it's heavy. I was holding this up to see myself in the mirror, which the mirror is pretty good. But it just like my hand started cramping and I just I had to stop because it was stressing me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'll leave that in the description box as well as everything that is on my face today and links to some of my previous videos. And I believe that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.